Okay, in this video I'm going to do a more difficult problem in relation to solving differential equations using power series. In green there I have the, power, the differential equation written out and just to save on time I've put in the first, the, well, the first and second derivatives of the power series itself. So the next thing we need to do is to note the fact that the y double prime is multiplied by both x squared and 1 and the y prime is multiplied by x and what we need to do now is basically multiply those in. So let's multiply x times y prime, all right? So that becomes an x to 1 out here, and we have x to the n minus 1 times x to the 1, which basically cancels the 1, like so. And similarly, we have an x squared here, and we can get rid of this as a result. Okay? Now, I've said in a previous video that when you're solving differential equations using power series, each of your separate power series must begin at the same point and they must have the same power. They must have the same power. Alright, so if you look carefully here, each of these is the same power and uh, each of these begins at zero. So the only one we need to look at then is what happens when we don't have x squared multiplied by y double prime. So we know that y double prime is equal to the sum of n is equal to zero to infinity of a sub n times n times n minus 1 times x to the n minus 2. Okay? And this one is different to the other three because this one is, uh, it just has an x to the n minus 2 and it begins uh, does begin at the, at the correct point. So what we need to do is change this. Alright? So let's go ahead and do that. And the way I told you to do this was to first, first of all start with the first couple of uh, terms in the sequence, or the series, excuse me. So it's going to be y double prime is equal to, it's going to be 0 plus, and if we, then we go to n equals 1, and we're going to get that as equal to 0 as well, then we go to n is equal to 2, and we're going to get that n is equal to 2. If you look at it, n is equal to 2, we'll be, if we shift this one upwards, we'll get x to the n, and if we shift this downwards, we'll get, x to the, uh, we'll get n is equal to 2, or n is equal to 0, excuse me. So this works perfectly. Of course, if you had, for example, a third derivative, then uh, then you might have to actually go to the third term of the sequence series, excuse me, and then add this as well onto it. Now, of course, we need now we need now to manipulate this. So the way we do it is we increase all of the terms here by two, and we decrease this, decrease as a result this term by two. So this becomes n is equal to zero. But as a result, wait, actually, I'll leave that there, excuse me. But the whole thing becomes the following: it becomes n is equal to zero to infinity of a n plus two times n plus 2, times n plus 1, times x to the n. Alright, and that's equal to y double prime. So just bear with me one moment and I'll note this up here. I know you can't see what I'm doing. Alright, so now we have the four bits of uh, the, the four power series which we need in order to solve this equation. So the next thing we need to do is plug these straight into the equation itself. Alright, where is this coming from? We don't need that anymore either. Alright, so here are four we have y, x, y prime, x squared, y double prime, and y double prime itself. So I'm going to draw a line underneath that. And let's plug those straight into our differential equation here. The point to note is, of course, that each of those begins at n is equal to 0, goes to n is equal to infinity, and each of them has the same power, namely the power is x to the n. So what I'm going to do is take out x to the n and the sum itself. Like that. Then I'm going to multiply in. So x squared, y double prime is here, so that's a n times n times n minus 1. Then we need to add to that the x or the y double prime. So this is going to be a n plus 2, n plus 2, n plus 1. We need to add to that x y prime. That's going to be that's going to be plus a n times n. And we need to add it, that uh, take away finally the y the y term. So that's going to be a n. That's equal to zero. 
Okay, as we know at this stage that when you have two things multiplied together to get one, one of them must be zero, or to get zero, one of them must be zero. So in this case, this part here is equal to zero. So let's go ahead and manipulate that. We're going to get that an times n times n minus 1 plus a n plus 2 times n plus 2 n plus 1 is equal to, or not, not is equal to, is e uh, plus a n times n minus a n is equal to 0. And what we need to do now is to manipulate this. So we can see we have a n plus 2 and we have a n. They're the two bits. So what I want really is that a n plus 2 is equal to something, something, something in terms of a n. So let's just rearrange and see what, see what happens. If on the left hand side I pull out a n plus 2, I'm still going to have n plus 2 here and n plus 1. On the other side I'm going to have, if I have negative a n, alright, if I have negative a n I'm going to have the following, I'm going to have n minus 1 plus n into n minus 1, like that. Alright, so let's just rearrange this again. a n plus 2 is equal to negative a n times, so we have n minus 1 plus n squared minus n over n plus 2, n plus 1. And then finally, a n plus 2 is equal to the n cancel. So we're going to have 1 minus n squared times a n over n plus 2 n plus 1 of course where I pulled in that negative sign there alright n minus 1 yes that's correct okay now there is one more thing you can you can further you could uh, you could further go with this because we could see this here is actually 1 squared minus 2 squared so it's the difference is 2 squared, so it's a plus b times a minus b. So we could actually change this into 1 minus n, 1 plus n. And if we do that, then we get rid of this. And we're left with uh, 1 minus n over n plus 2, which is correct. All right. So that was reasonably straightforward. That was to get the recurrence relation. Now the thing about the recurrence relation is we, we, use, it in order to, uh, we use it in order to get everything else. So it's time to go ahead and use that. So I'm just going to clear my board. Bear with me one moment. All right, so I'm going to write down my recurrence relation once more. My recurrence relation stated that a n plus 2 is equal to, well, if I pull out the negative sign again, it's just going to be negative a n, n minus 1 over n plus 2. All right, where we know, of course, that y is equal to the sum from n is equal to 0 to infinity of a n x to the n. So what we need to do now is find out the a n's, because we know what, we know what x to the n is. That, that's pretty straightforward stuff. So where we say n is equal to 0, we're going to get, you just, just do it yourself there, you're going to find it's equal to, uh, we're going to have a 0 over 2, right? The next term, that's going to be the, the next term. Then for n is equal to 1, we're going to get uh, 0. For n is equal to 2, we're going to get negative a0 over 4 times 2. For n is equal to 3, we're going to get 0. For n is equal to 4, we're going to get 3 times a0 over 6 times 4 times 2. Alright, so you say, well, what do we do here now? I know I did that pretty quickly, but that's, you know, that, that, that is, that's pretty straightforward stuff. So I'll just get rid of those because we don't really need them really. Just to point something out here. If we extend our power series, we know that it's a0 times x to the naught plus a1 times x to the 1 plus a2 times x to the 2 plus dot dot dot. And this relation here will allow us to get our a our basically our ans, our a1, a2, a3, a4, a5, and so on. Alright? So but we saw there a moment ago that everything is in terms of a0 because all the a1 terms went to 0. Okay, so every odd term went to 0. So, so for example, this term was 0. So we're left with only even terms. And we have a way of relating, we had a way of relating uh, a2. We found a moment ago that a2 
was equal to a0 over 2. So just write that straight in. Okay, and we found that, let me, let me rewrite that all together actually. So this, the third term in the series was a0 over 2 times x squared. And the fourth term, so we found that a, a4 was equal to 3 times a0 over 6 times 4 times 2. Therefore, it's going to be 3 times a0, 6 times 4 times 2 times x to the 4. Because, of course, all our odd terms in the, the x powers are equal to 0. And that's going to be our power series answer. Alright, now, um, the next part is kind of tricky. Okay, well, it's not tricky. It's kind of, I, I think it's perhaps a bit of a, sl a sleight of hand. Um, and it's like taking, uh, it's like t when you take different different values of uh, a0 and a1. So like, if you were to say, let a0 equal to 1, then your power series would be, it, it would be 1 plus x squared over 2 plus 3x to the 4 over 6 times 4 times 2 plus dot dot dot. And you can leave that as your answer. Okay, that'll be y1 and y2. Uh, y2 would be equal to, well, what, it, actually, we're not going to solve for y2. We'll leave that there like that. Okay, so I think that was, that was reasonably straightforward. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.